hoping it's going to be what I think it is. Good deal. <laughs> I'm gonna wait on this. Oh, it's gonna be great. So what do you do once you get on the ground, I wonder? Oh! Nice. Very nice. Oh, what the? Greetings, YouTube. It's Brain Damage Gamer. Thanks for clicking on my video. Uh, this is going to be another captain's chair. We got some more in great info to go over with y'all. Uh, you already seen the intro. Uh, it's going to be about Elite Horizons. Some of my opinions and points of interest on that. Uh, I'm also, as done in prior videos just going to be doing a quick stop off here I got a mission to go turn in remember it's from last time uh, saved it just for this next video uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and go turn these in make some money yeah horizons has been announced quite excited for it uh, looks like it's gonna be very interesting uh, unfortunately I am not happy with some of the other aspects of it so we'll kind of go into that a little bit further uh, again, as last time, we're going to have some information uh, down below. I'm going to have some links down here uh, to the forums and whatnot explaining uh, partially what I'm going to be talking about. Now, one of the things that has been of interest in this game is seeing how the developers react to certain things and what they do for some of them. So, let me explain exactly what that means. Alright, so let me explain a little bit about what I'm thinking about this. Uh, it is good that they're still adding to the game, and I am interested in what they're getting ready to do for the game. But, uh, I th think they're not ready for what they're getting ready to do. I think they're actually caving to pressure people are putting on them to just hurry up and get the next part of the product out. And that never works out for anyone involved, usually. Um, that's something where you can tell when a product gets rushed because of that. And in this particular case, I think that's exactly what's getting ready to happen. Um, we have a great game and a great product that we're already using, but they're gonna be adding to it. And I have no problem with them adding to it because they're gonna be adding some great content. I'm looking forward to some of the stuff they're getting ready to put in. However, uh, there's been already comments, the developers have even said that there's not going to be any life on the planets as of right now. There's no intent to put that into the game yet. Uh, they're just going to be basically empty planets. So think of the original Mass Effect, the but minus any of the shooting missions or things like that. Uh, from what they're saying, you're basically going to be having a uh, ability to land on the planet and drive around, but not actually have any like interaction. They're saying that's going to come later. Well, if that's going to come that much later, why are you doing the release now? You shouldn't be doing the release yet. Uh, because that's what people are looking for. People aren't just looking for, hey, let's hurry up and get the game out. Uh, oh, I can land, yay! And I can't do anything here? Um, holy heck, dropped me out the ass end of the station. When in doubt, fly straight at it. Whee! Here we go. Anyway. So, I mean, it. it's not that it's a bad thing that they've added it, it and that they're going to be doing it. I don't think it's ready. I, by a long shot, I don't think it's ready. I think it's something that they need to finish it before they give it to us. And I'm not 100% sure if that's what's going to happen. I don't know. I, I don't know. Uh... On that note though, price point. There is just no way. Uh, <laughs> uh, I hope that that's because it's, it's beta access, you're getting early access to it, kind of like what they did with the original Elite. 
uh, but I am not buying it at that expense. That's just crazy. I've already got the game. I'm not going to basically pay for the game all over again to get access to a part of a module that you've already said you're not going to have good content for. <laughs> you preemptively told me there's not going to be life on the planets. That it's going to be basically just big open empty planets with things to discover. So I find a random box or node or whatever you want to call it in the game. I find this little random thing I can go pick up. Big whoop. Uh, I mean, are you going to put weapons out there? I doubt it. The way that the game's built now, there's no real way for them to do that. Unless they've completely changed how it works. I mean, that'd be interesting then. But not at that price. Holy heck. That is, that is ridiculous. And, and I mean, you do have the lifetime pass option. If you really want to invest into it, but I don't have the money for all that. I got too much going on in my life. Uh, even if I did have the money for that, I'd probably look at it and go, I don't know if I want to spend that. Uh, if they change what they're going to be doing with it, maybe. Always enter the hangar. Uh, I don't know. I, m I might in the future be more interested at that point, but as of right now, you kind of dissuade me a little bit from moving into the next step of this game. Uh, and I don't like that. I love this game. This game's fun. And I, I do a lot of things in this game that are enjoyable. So Now, the one little caveat I did want to put to all that, though, is that they are still saying that they're going to be putting uh, some other missions in there. Like, you might have, like, planetary-based missions, which would be interesting. I mean, I'm not going to say that that's just a terrible idea. Uh... I think what people are really looking for at this point, though, is truly the, the ability to move around with your ship. Uh, let me click my dough. The ability to go and do things within the station. And when you land on planets, to have, like, planetary landing pads and things like that. You know, hey, I've landed on this planet. Instead of going to the station, I'll go to a actual landing pad land there and be able to do whatever in the city or whatnot uh people are looking for more of that sandbox type feel uh at least i mean that's my opinion obviously but i mean i've been playing the game for, from the beginning uh i talk to you guys here on youtube uh i talk to people on reddit i talk to people all over the place so i mean it's it's uh definitely something that I feel people aren't quite getting what they're expecting. They're looking for more. It's good and bad. And I think some people are going to be very happy with it, and some people are going to be very upset when it actually does come out. So, I mean, we'll have to, to see what happens. No, don't burn up. Uh, most people that know me know I'm not a very much a wait-and-see sort of guy, but... In this case, I kind of actually want to suggest that, and that's unusual for me because, I mean, this is definitely one of those cases where I'm going to say, buyer beware, don't go pre-ordering into it, um, just because I don't think you'll get exactly what it is you're looking for. Uh, I think that there's going to be, at minimum, some difficulty with what they're planning on doing. Not necessarily difficulty from... Uh, a gameplay standpoint but more of expectations versus reality uh, as it is right now people have already said there's not much to do in Elite I mean I don't agree with that currently I think that we've got plenty to do I think what they're describing for their expansion though there actually may not be much to do maybe it's miscommunication but they've already said things like atmosphere and life on the planets and things like that not planned into the future and for me, what that means is what you saw in the little trailer I put at the beginning of this is probably what you're going to see. Is It's, it's going to be like landing on a moon in the original Mass Effect games. So, I mean, we'll have to see what happens. But, anyway, that's just some random thoughts from this guy. Uh, feel free to throw comments down below on whatever you think, uh, if you have any ideas or thoughts on it. But uh, thanks again for watching. Feel free to hit the like button or uh, click subscribe if you want to see more uh, of these videos.